voters. Carrie Lake joins us tonight. Carrie Lake, thank you so much for coming on. Did you, I mean, I, I assume you must have suspected something like this was happening. How do you feel now that it's been confirmed? Well, nothing surprises me now, to be honest, but this did, I, I was a little bit surprised. I mean, we saw what happened with Hunter's laptop in 2020. The DNC's behind it, Biden's people are behind it, keeping the narrative away from discussing the disturbing contents of that. So it shouldn't be surprising that states are doing this. And my opponent, who I wanted to recuse herself from the election a year, more than a year ago because of conflict of interest, it wouldn't surprise me if her office was trying to silence people. I mean, we got silenced. At one point, my Twitter page got taken down because they didn't like one of the tweets I put up during the election. It makes me wonder who was behind that. We had to remove a tweet during the election in order to get our ability to communicate with our followers and the people who were supporting us. It is frightening what's happening with Twitter. This is an arm, it's a propaganda arm of our government. And we need to wake up right now and, and demand that we get some control over what's happening in our government. The FBI, and you know, we're talking about Twitter tonight. Let's talk Facebook. What about TikTok? Right. This thing is gonna go so deep that I think people are gonna be shocked when they learn the full extent. I can't wait to hear what they were doing when it comes to censoring us on COVID, when people's lives were at risk, when our children right. were, being, right. were being masked up. Shocking. And with vaccines. Really quick, how can you have a democracy in a, in a country where the government is suppressing speech? How can that be a democratic country? I believe it's called fascism, and they're always accusing us of being the fascist one. And, you know, they, they spent three years talking about Russia, 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 the collusion story, and they didn't want to talk about uh, Hunter's laptop. They didn't want to talk about problems with our elections that we discovered in 2020 and we saw repeated in 22. When are we going to have a serious discussion about what's really wrong in this country? We don't have a lot of time left on the clock. And, you know, as Twitter said, what was the what was the the, the term they used? We're on it. We're going to get on it right away. Well, we're getting on it in Arizona and the people have had enough. We're sick of, of the uh, Katie Hobbs office and the secretary of state's office and what they've been up to. And we're going to start fighting back and we're going to be drawing up some uh, lawsuits in our election because we won't have elections that are run like the run in third world countries. We That's have totally too great. much to save in this country to allow our elections to be run that way. Well, Godspeed. I, I, I think all pe I think I would hope all people would agree with that. Carrie Lake, great to see you tonight. Thank you. Thanks. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.